Four years ago, we profiled the drug ketamine's off-label use for depression, and at the time, only a few clinics offered the treatment. But since then, the number of ketamine clinics in the U.S. has exploded by 1,665%. Our investigative producer, Leslie Marcus, reports on the potential dark side of this growing trend. Ketamine's history dates back nearly 50 years ago when it became a mainstay in anesthesia. But the drug developed a very bad reputation as a dangerous party drug that sent users into a K-hole. Recently, the drug made its way to the silver screen in the movie Hustlers, where Jennifer Lopez and her crew used a ketamine cocktail to drug their male clients. But the drug's off-label use to treat depression is trendy, and with zero regulation, there's no shortage of clinics offering this treatment. And these clinics are out of plain sight. You couldn't tell that the building behind me is offering these treatments. So I wanted to see how easy it would be for me to go to one of these clinics and get a ketamine infusion. I just left the first clinic, and after a very basic assessment, I met with the doctor for about five minutes, and the front desk offered to treat me with ketamine that same day. This seems all too easy to be able to pop in a clinic and get an infusion, so I'm here at Dr. Mendel's clinic. He's the president of the American Society of Ketamine Physicians, and we're gonna get some answers. So Dr. Mendel, why was it so easy for me to pop into these clinics and I was offered these treatments right on the spot? I don't know why it was so easy for you. It shouldn't be that easy for you. I would suspect it has something to do with cash flow. Obviously, you've heard stories about it being offered the incorrect way. I have. There are people who are really quite committed and ethical and passionate and are doing all that they can to do it right. Then there's a second group who wants to provide ketamine in the clinic, but they don't take any responsibility for care before or after. At what point do you feel comfortable saying this patient is a great candidate for ketamine and I'm gonna give them an infusion? Before anyone gets treated here, we've contacted behavioral health doctor, usually a psychiatrist, and we have gotten their permission to speak with that person. The places I went to weren't trying to do that with me I whatsoever. wonder if they were less concerned about your affliction and more concerned about just getting you in for an infusion. Leslie joins us now with another wonderful investigation. So Welcome. Leslie, a lot to dig into here. Can you just talk a little bit about some of the revelations during your investigation? Ketamine can absolutely be a life-saving treatment for a lot of people. In fact, four years ago, I produced a show on The Doctors where we featured a woman who was suicidal, she had ketamine infusions, and afterwards, she no longer wanted to take her own life. But since then, the expansion of these ketamine clinics across the country, a lot has changed. And I felt when I went into these clinics, that these doctors offering the treatments were almost like glorified drug dealers. Nobody was following up about my previous medical history, doing intake. They were more concerned about getting me in there quickly and getting my money. And these treatments are not cheap. People tried to offer me on six infusions. Like how much? Yeah. I'm curious. $5,500 wow. for a set of infusions. Exactly. And then they offered me, I was like, that's a little bit pricey. I don't know if I have that much money to, to pay for all of this, because remember, this is out of pocket. It's not covered by insurance. And they, they offered me 10% off. Huh. Other, another doctor, this really stuck with me, said that I will give you the highest amount of ketamine in town. That was his sell. Hmm. All of this was very disturbing to me which is why I wanted to do this investigation. It's like pushing yeah. Botox. You get the most units here, exactly. so come here. That's crazy. Yeah, but, but, but to be fair, this, the systemic side effects of ketamine yes, are so much 100%. more.